The outbreak of salmonella has been having a lot of concerns for people over the last few days. Uh, salmonella is a kind of infectious diarrhea that we used to refer to as dysentery. Um, the reason salmonella is important is that if it's not recognized and diagnosed, untreated, it can be fatal. Um, the most lethal complication of salmonella infection would be typhoid fever, which was something that used to cause epidemics uh, back in the 19th century before there were even antibiotics. In today's present day, fortunately, with the antibiotics that we have available to us, typhoid fever is not commonly seen and, in fact, is very rare in the United States. However, it's something that is still a problem in the developing world. It's because of these reasons that salmonella is making the news. Um, salmonella is a preventable illness, uh, and as everyone is aware, it can be associated with eggs. Um, the CDC and other public health authorities have been following this closely. Recommendations to concerned people is that if you are taking care of food in the kitchen, remember to always co practice common sense. Wash your hands. Um, if you eat eggs, um, eat them when they're fully cooked. So you want to avoid any kind of egg product that's raw or partially cooked. Um, if you end up having symptoms that go along with salmonella, that would be things like fever, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. May even be as severe as bloody diarrhea. Make sure to seek out uh, professional medical assistance as quickly as possible. So the most important thing about salmonella is to remember that it's a foodborne illness that comes with raw, undercooked food such as eggs. It can cause life-threatening illness such as typhoid fever. However, with prompt diagnosis, it is easily treatable with antibiotics. Doctors have tests that can make the diagnosis. Remember that the symptoms are fever, diarrhea, abdominal pain. In addition, remember to wash your hands every time after you've used the bathroom, as well as whenever you're handling food in the kitchen. If you have any further concerns, Please don't hesitate to check the CDC's website or alternatively to contact your physician.